During his administration, critics routinely accused President Bush of using the September 11th attacks to further his agenda. But now it seems some on the left are employing the same tactic in an effort to enact health care reform. National correspondent Catherine Harridge reports. If you go to your computer and type in Organizing for America, BarackObama.com comes up. Earlier this week, critics say this notice, now scrubbed from the site, was sent out to the president's base, urging them to use the 9-11 anniversary to call on lawmakers to pass health care reform. It reads in part, all 50 states are coordinating in this as we fight back against our own right-wing domestic terrorists who are subverting the American democratic process, whipped to a frenzy by their Fox propaganda network, ceaselessly reseizing power for their treacherous leaders. The Heritage Foundation, a conservative group, has a lot of complaints. Uh, Barack Obama needs to quit the perpetual campaign. When he has a website called BarackObama.com and a website called WhiteHouse.gov, he needs to choose which one he's going to communicate with the American public through. The DNC told Fox in a statement that anyone can post on the site, adding, we certainly don't agree with these comments, nor do we condone them, just as I'm sure the Heritage Foundation or Fox don't agree or condone some of the things posted in the sections of their website. This was distributed to people in Illinois, Michigan, and North Carolina. So yeah, the original posting was just an independent person who went too far. But when Organizing for America took the next step and invited people to that event, they became complicit in the language. In another sign that the rhetoric is angry, even toxic, at a town hall on health care, New York Congressman Charlie Rangel is quoted by the New York Post suggesting race and bias are fueling the resistance to the president's health care reform. Quote, some Americans have not gotten over the fact that Obama is president of the United States. They go to sleep wondering, how did this happen? One analyst says this is yet another example of how the health care debate has become an us versus them scenario, adding that the focus is clearly not on the substance of reform and what it will mean for most Americans. In Washington, Catherine Herridge, Fox News.